it's 100 years now since water imported from the Eastern Sierra entered this improbable city. For cities to exist, they need water. From the discovery of silver at Cerro Gordo that kick-started the transforming of a backwater Spanish village into a great metropolitan area. To the enterprising underhanded corralling of water sent south via the Los Angeles aqueduct. The two areas, so different in many ways, have been linked like conjoined siblings, birthed on November 5th, 1913. There are a whole lot of assumptions we make by living in a city like Los Angeles. We assume there'll be enough water somehow. We assume there'll be enough food somehow. We assume there'll be enough power somehow. And some of us are wondering Is this a reasonable assumption to make? What now, watershed? What now? Let's begin a new century. Let's begin with something that makes us think differently. Let's walk this pipeline travel south with the water, through many landscapes it passes through. Let this drawing be a drawing in space and time. image of this place, not the kind of image a 19th century painter might draw of a landscape, but rather an image that channels nature and space into experience. 